Those light boxes are part of the, my installation, which is about the intersection of female body, uh, nature, and the sacred. So here we can see an example of that intersection where you have, it's a tree, but the upper part are branches, and then you have in the middle some part of a woman's body, a female body, and then you have the root. We have here the top, uh, you have branches, but at the same time, at the level of branches, you also have female body part. Here in the middle, and here also in the back, so the tree is some type of combination or juxtaposition of different tree elements that we can recognize, you know, here the branches and here the roots, but in the middle uh, we see all those uh, body parts. I use a technique which is called picote, and that technique goes back to uh, the 13th century France when the nuns in, in Catholic convents would uh, decorate the edge of holy pictures and they would use a needle to poke hundreds of holes on the margin. So what I did, I took that technique, but I kind of uh, added more element to it. So I'm not decorating holy pictures, but I'm decorating. It's not only decoration on the edge, but you can see that I have even invented a whole vocabulary of holes. I have here, uh, some are very, very flat and small because I'm using this part of the paper and I have one level of felt. But you can see that this one here, are, they have a texture and which means that I'm working on the back. So I'm constantly flipping the paper from one side to the other to create a diversity of variety. So we have cut paper, we have the picote, which is the name of the technique, and you have the sewing here with the beads. That particular piece is different from the other because I have added stitches with color, with thread. And uh, so not only it takes forever to poke those holes, and I do that in my studio in complete silence, and I even sometimes lose track of time and space. It's like a meditation, kind of a Zen meditation. And I do that, but also I underline the, the branches with the stitches. My mother passed away about uh, 10 years ago, and she used to do embroidery, and she left all the cotton that she was using for her canvases. So my mother is with me also now that I'm talking to you, you can see because those uh, threads are, have been used by her. So again, it's the same idea of this intersection between the female body and nature and the sacred. And the sacred aspect is because of the light. Uh, I wanted to reproduce a little bit the atmosphere of the European churches with the light going through the stained glasses. This particular tapestry uh, was made as a tribute to the Joshua tree. I've been living for a certain time in uh, Antelope Valley, at the edge of the Mojave Desert, and I learned how to really appreciate those Joshua trees for their persistence and they, also the, the fact that they can live with almost no resources. And so I wanted to do something for that and to show the sacredness and the fragility of it because we don't know how long they are going to be here. You can see that those spikes are pierced with a lot of holes, and the light is also to create this atmosphere that I already talked about of those European churches where you have sacred, the stained glasses in those European ch churches represent sacred characters like Jesus and Mary. But instead of representing Jesus, Mary, and the others, I use the trees and the women body as a sacred site.
including in that piece we have the two fate sisters and according to uh, the Greek mythology, life is represented with three characters. I only have two because the third one is the Joshua tree. So the first one is Clotho. And Clotho is holding a ball of yarn here. And that ball represents the year that we're going to be living in, in this earth. Some people only have one yard, some people have half a yard, some people have 80 yards, they live long. This is the other fate sister. Her name is Atropos, and she represents death. So we saw Clotho with a ball of yarn, that's how many years we have on this earth. And then we have this fate sister who is holding a pair of scissors. We can see here, it's embroidered. And at one time she said, your time is up, and she cuts the thread, and that's death. So I wanted to show with those two uh, fate sisters the fragility of the Joshua tree and of nature, and then even the women conditioned, all type of things that are very <coughs> unstable and we don't know how long they are going to last. I'm very much interested in postmodernity to work with different uh, culture. If you look at the hand here, I was inspired by the hand of Buddha, the hand of Buddha here. This coif is when I was in France, in Brittany, I saw the traditional uh, attire of women. They wear this type of uh, coif, and I was inspired. So we have the Asian, we have the European, 